Hello VAC fans. I just finished mowing the lawn. It's Saturday and I thought I would go and mow the carpet. Haha. Ha. With this 1997 Rainbow D4C SE with the PE nozzle. Now normally with an upright you vacuum backwards out of a room. So I suppose with a canister it's easier to vacuum into a spot. So I've never really done a video of just general vacuuming of a room, especially with a canister. So we're going to see what happens here. I'm probably going to have to move the camera angle a few times in order to get everything. So we'll see what happens.
Nothing like a dryer sheet to clog up your day. about this nozzle with this brush roll on this doggy bed. It's going to slow down a lot, so I have to lift it up a bit. So it does clean it, kind of awkward. that I recommend this to do with this type of a dog bed. I'd probably recommend this tool a little bit more. I'm not going to bar down as much, but you still get a bunch of debris in these cups. This, this, is, this is pretty soft material. Like One nice thing about this nozzle is that you just pop this off and you can take the brush roll right out. So it's super easy to clean. Take the dirt out of the tufts pretty, pretty easily. Not hard at all. I don't coordinate my socks.
Okay, so I know that this fabric can handle the brush bar from this nozzle, so I can do this. So don't do this on every couch, but on this one it works great. It's kind of awkward to do it one-handed, but I'll show you what it's like anyway. Okay, so that's done now with the second floor. It took a lot. So now I can't wait to see what the water looks like, and we're going to dump it between floors. And there it is. Huh? Not as bad as you might think. I think you really get a look at it. There's definitely some dirt in there, but that's just kind of typical. That's just kind of average. That's what you normally get with pretty much any vacuum that okay, I use so here. So the problem is you really don't want to put that down the toilet. So you got some choices. I guess you can put it down the toilet, but that may clog some. Or you can reach in, get the big chunks out. Oh no, I'm touching my own carpet dirt. What do I do? And then you can just toss it in the trash, and then you're going to dump out the water. Really awkward doing this one-handed. Okay, so that's it. And then flush it away. No smells. Yay! All gone. And now that's fairly clean. Now we'll go down to the first floor.
doggy bed number two. couch you've seen before and I can use this power nozzle on it. It's kind of awkward to do it with one hand but it's the same way as the upstairs couch. Oops. Can't pull back that far. So here's the second doggy bed on the first floor, and remember I used this on the second floor and ended up having to clean the tufts. It wasn't that bad. So this is a slightly different material, but it's pretty close. I think the nap is a little, um, not as tall. I think it's uh, a little, a little thinner too. So let's see what happens. <laughs> So let's take a look at the brush roll. Oh yeah, this one didn't shed nearly as much. Yeah, so the nap on this is definitely uh, shorter. Doesn't bog down the bristles and didn't really leave any, uh, any debris. All right, so now we get to see how much dirt is from the second floor. And my guess is it's probably going to be less. Yeah, we got something in there. Not bad though. We gotta go dump it. All right, this one didn't look nearly as bad as the one on the second floor, so I'm gonna put the whole thing in the toilet. Yeah, that's not bad. That's not gonna clog anything in there. See, that looks pretty clean now. All right, done with the first floor. Yay! Flush the dirt and smell away. Isn't that fantastic? Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video showing many of the attributes that is flooring, not above the floor cleaning, of a 1997 Rainbow D4C SEPE. I reconditioned a couple years ago. You see you've got the full set of above floor tools. Maybe I'll show that in another video using, using some of those. So clean the bin out and I'm not going to store the bin on the base. I'm just going to put it kind of like on top to go and let it dry. And I'll probably go and take a look at the separator, but my guess is it probably isn't really that dirty. So hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, bye-bye.